two begins. What's some punch? Oh. Can't you just tell me it's all going to be okay? I love you guys. You're probably going to be okay. <laughs> he lives. He looks like shit, but he's living. Hey, Hi, Jeff. Jeff. What's up? Hi, Mel. Hi, Jean. Good morning. Jeff in Las Vegas. Thank, thank you for joining me. Pleasure. Welcome. Uh, what, Jean, first of all, congratulations. What a complicated, intricate, emotional, funny film. I can't believe you packed so much in a movie like this. I mean, it just... <laughs> it's exhausting, isn't it? He's an exhausting guy. <laughs> the, the original script was almost two hours. Oh, and, and we literally, and we shot about an hour and 55 minutes of that. And, and then, then in editing, we started trimming it down. So that's why it has, it's kind of packed in there. It's pretty Oh, good. wow. Well, you know, there are so many different themes in this movie, but I think the one that fascinated me the most was Frank dealing with the class of generations, you know, and only in Brooklyn too, right? <laughs> yep, yep. So tell me yep, what Frank, sure. is, Frank is dealing with this time around. Wow, what isn't he dealing with? <laughs> it's like, uh, it, it was meant to be like, there's, there isn't anything, you know, what has Frank got left? Not a lot. He's out of a job. He's, uh, you know, smoking too much weed. He's out of divorced. A wife. Yeah. Um, you know, his bed is a mess. <laughs> he's not keeping himself very clean. And, uh, and he's going to the beach and just smoking more pot and driving a VW bug and whatever, because he likes a stick shift, but he can't afford anything else. He, and he's just uh, listless. He's just floating through this part of his life, which I do can you know, appreciate it. It does happen. And, uh, and that's where all these characters start to come into his life as the movie introduces them. And you start to learn more about where he is and what he's doing. And then little by little, he's reconnecting with his family in sometimes interesting ways. And Mel, where are Frank and Kathy in their relationship? It seems like Kathy's pretty much trying to get her life straight. She's got it. What's, what's going on? But Frank is a mess. Yeah, Frank is Frank. I mean, Frank, <laughs> Frank is, is Frank. Uh, Frank is a mess. I think we see a lot of why they're not together any longer. I think that Kathy is, although it's painful, I don't mean to downplay it, but I think Kathy's very happy to be divorced. I think she's, it's also challenging and confusing for her, but she's out there in the world and trying to make it, this part of her life uh, work. She has a wonderful new partner who happens to be female. She's dealing or helping her children deal with what they they have and she's still dealing with the fact that even though they're divorced we're still a family which happens in many uh divorced um families and, and we we are it's not always easy or comfortable it's usually very funny <laughs> and um and that's that's what kathy i think kathy's excited about life and moving forward and trying to not let the past um color her future too much and Gene Frank using Tinder, but he finds someone by pure accident. I mean, by accident, doesn't he? Literally, <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, that, that was an interesting scene to shoot, yes. <laughs> I just love how Frank finds, you know, someone in the old fashioned way, you know, instead of 21st century technology, he literally bumps into somebody. I think it's just- it was... oh, Yeah, and I, it was, you know, he was looking for a special personality for that. And that's where Alexandra Renzo came in is I had done a short film with her years ago, and I said, oh, I think I have an idea here for who should be, who, sh who, sh who she should be, and it's Alexandra. And, and she came in there, we didn't even have a rehearsal, and uh, we didn't have time, and she came in, and all of a sudden, she was Autumn, and it was hysterical, and so grounded, and so believable, and we had a lot of fun together, for sure. And Mel, talk about shooting this movie on location, because you guys have some some porch scenes in this beautiful weather, beautiful setting. I mean, I think it's just this story, just uh, where it's shot is just part of the character of the movie. I, I think it is. And I think for Kathy, the, her home is part of the character. It's, I think it's a part of the family's character, which then becomes a sort of conflict between Frank and Kathy. But it was lovely. I mean, we were very lucky, good with the weather. Brooklyn was beautiful. Um, so it's, it's always nice to have that if it fits with your character. And it did. So it was nice. And Jean, uh, you know, uh, the movie's finally coming out, but you also had it on the film festival circuit. How was that experience? Oh, uh, well, that's, it's not my first rodeo with film festivals, but, <laughs> uh, but, but it was, I was 
staggered <laughs> by the number of awards we won. No, really, I'm serious. I'm not trying to push, puff it up at all. I mean, 34 awards. I mean, that's a lot of awards. And there were, and there were so many top tier awards from LA and New York uh, over, over so many aspects of the movie. Uh, and Mel got a boatload and, you know, and it, but, but I was just so satisfied that the awards were spread out amongst a lot of people because they really deserved it with their performances and their work. And John is a director, uh, uh, Saad Mustafa is the DP and, and uh, wardrobe design. And, you know, ev ev everybody got to share in the awards. And uh, I, loved see I loved seeing that because it, it, it's the best thing for everybody to, who worked so hard. They worked tirelessly on this movie. It's nice also to, it's, it's a wonderful, the festivals are always a wonderful kickoff for a project, mm -hmm. kick off for a movie, because we're not out to the general audience at that point. It's a very specific, small uh, group, and to have that kind of feedback uh, in awards, uh, it was really, really um, lovely. Well, congratulations to both of you and a uh, wonderful film, and I appreciate your time today, and uh, uh, good luck with the film. Let's talk again soon. Thank you. Oh, most welcome. Okay. Thank you. Um,